We are going to prepare propionyl chloride. First measure out 140 ml of liquid propionic acid as anhydrous as possible. Set up a 500 ml round bottomed flask on a water bath at room temperature. This needs to have very good ventilation. Add the propionic acid to the dry flask and add a magnetic stir bar to the flask. Stirring is quite important for this reaction to go to completion as you will see. Next, measure out 56 ml of liquid phosphorus trichloride. This is very toxic so do take great care with it and use only with ventilation present. As you can see it fumes and air so try to work quickly. Set up an addition funnel on top of the flask and add the phosphorus trichloride to it. You'll also need a way to vent the flask as a lot of HCl gas will be produced. I've used a pressure equalized funnel but you could use a multiple neck flask or other setup. Try to minimize the opening to the atmosphere. With the water bath at room temperature and with stirring, start to add the phosphorus trichloride. You shouldn't see much of a temperature increase but add carefully just to be on the safe side. Our addition here took 20 minutes to complete. Soon after you start adding you'll see a fog of HCl gas being produced in the flask and the contents will turn a milky color. This is our reaction taking place with the formation of the acid chloride. A lot of HCl gas will start to be produced and will escape the apparatus. Make sure you take care to vent this away properly. Once action was complete, we left the solution stirring vigorously for an hour. HCl continued to be produced during this period. At the end of this time, the mixture separates into two layers, the bottom layer is mostly phosphoric acid. So now set up the flask for simple distillation using cool water and a thermometer to monitor the temperature of the distillate vapors. We really recommend using a hose attached to a suitable receiving adapter which can safely vent away HCl gas. Heat the water bath strongly as our aim now is to distill over everything up until around 90 degrees C. We noticed that around 5 milliliters of liquid distilled over around 55 to 65 degrees C. We discarded this as we think this may be a result of impurities in our propionic acid. Keep heating and the bulk of the distillate should come over above 70 degrees. Keep going until nothing more comes over. This took about an hour and a half in this particular case. HCl fumes continue to be produced to a lesser extent throughout the distillation. At the end of the distillation there is only a syrupy viscous layer remaining in the flask and a perfectly clear distillate. Take extra care when disassembling the apparatus. We recommend removing the distillate and then cautiously adding a small amount of water into the top of the still head. This will generate some heat but will destroy any acid chloride remaining in the apparatus. Here's our product, around 90 ml of propionyl chloride. This is around a 55% yield, which should be higher but we think our current batch of propionic acid does contain some impurities which lower this. As you can see, the product fumes strongly in air, and you will need to keep it safely stored in an extremely airtight container and take care when opening. The reaction with water is pretty rapid. Drops of it form a separate layer which jumps around, giving off HCl fumes, then disappears. You can distill the product again to get it extra pure, as it does still contain a small trace of phosphorus compounds.